Hello, friends. Uncle Mark here with another episode of IT Business Podcast, and we are into day three of IT Nation Secure, and we are having a great old time. I'm back out on Radio Row outside of the Solution Pavilion, and this morning, I have the privilege of presenting with the people that you see on the banner behind me thread, last year's Pitch It winner is also the sponsor of our vendor profile shows for 2024. And I am joined by Bobby Jacobs. Did That's I get right. that right? Yeah. <laughs> Head of growth at uh, Thread. So, Bob, how are you doing? Awesome. I'm doing good, Mark. Great oh, to be here. Hang on. I'm going to have to edit that out because I didn't have your volume up. All right. There <laughs> so, we go. How are we doing, Bobby? Doing great, Marv. Great to be here. Love to be sponsoring the podcast. Love everything uh, you're doing, you know, hanging out here for a few days. Uh, getting you know content out about all the awesome things vendors vendors are doing here. Uh, it's been a great show. Oh, I appreciate it. I enjoyed the the roller coaster of last year for your guys' uh, pitcher competition. Uh, let me ask, how's life been since then? It's been awesome. You yeah. know, more and more MSPs that we get to help experience uh, service magic. We're on a service experience revolution. Uh, so ConnectWise has been a great partner through that, and it's been a fun ride. All right. So I'm trying to tell if you guys upgraded the garb. <laughs> we did. We did. So <laughs> at IT Nation Connect last year, we were pilots, maybe a little confusing. Our AI was branded co-pilot, actually before Microsoft right. branded theirs as co-pilot. So it wasn't going to be a long-term uh, costume play for us anyways. We are pirates. Death of the there ticket is the core of who we are. Yeah. Uh, we did pilots for a minute to talk about our AI. But it brings up a good point. We have rebranded our AI to be Magic AI. Oh, okay. Hopefully, there's not a Fortune 500 company that decides to name their AI Magic. Um, but, you know, we got threads. We've got Copilot. Right. Who knows? <laughs> All right. So let's talk about uh, what has changed since then, because obviously, you know, you won the competition. You probably had to do a little, you know, world tour just to say hello to everybody and thank you and all of that. But in terms of the product itself, uh, tell me if there have been any changes. I, I know it's only been six months. Yeah, Mar, we have at least monthly releases. Okay. We are always focused on expanding that footprint of service experience. There's a lot of things that the that the team at an MSP is responsible for doing, whether it's the service desk, the dispatcher, the level three techs, on-site management. And so when we think about the holistic experience of that team, something we've really been focused on is the dispatcher. Okay. So you may see last month we, we announced our planner release, which is for the dispatcher. It's more of like a Jira drag and drop type experience when they're putting tickets on people's calendars. And it all integrates back to the PSA. So okay. if it's not a ConnectWise, it didn't happen, right? Right. But we're giving it this new interface with more of a like Jira software type experience, making that dispatcher's life better. Okay. So it's not, it's not the AI scheduling. It's still your dispatcher that's kind of manning the ship there it is now our ai is setting uh the category and the priority on every ticket okay so you know mark our ceo likes to say it's not hard to tell the future it's just hard to do the future right um and so like obviously automated dispatch is something a lot of people want like when people see that we do auto category and auto prioritization people are always like hey how far off is auto dispatch well this planner release is a big step in that direction all right. And how far along do you think you are before the bulk of the users will be able to truly experience it? Yeah, we so we announced it uh, about a month ago at the Kaseya Connect show. Uh, we are about to come out with a time zest integration. I'm uh, kind of previewing that time a little zest, bit. Really? That's right. So it'll be a part of this planner experience where you can just schedule time really easily uh, hmm. through our platform with time zest. Um, and then, yeah, it should be available uh, in production in the next few weeks. All right. I didn't think MSPs use Time Zest. MSPs love Time Zest, Marv. Are you kidding me? Everyone has Time Zest. Oh, my. Okay. Um, what are the new? I mean, it sounds like you guys are going to integrate with just about anything out there. So, I mean, of course, all the, the PSAs are probably, you know, tugging at your, your coattails there. Sure. Yeah. You know, we don't have a long list of integrations today. We're really focused on that experience mm -hmm. uh, and you know making the integrations with the PSA is really really good we do integrate with some things like IT glue and Avic and uh, some things where you want to bring the right context into right. the conversation of the configs and such um, we are working on a roost integration we're really excited about that 
Um, I mentioned Time Zest. To your point, there is a long list of things that it makes sense for us to integrate with. You know, there's some things, Smileback, Kruhu, a lot of low-hanging fruit that just make a lot of sense. Right. But the nice thing is because we're the conversational interface, you can already send links, send forms through our chat and have unofficial integrations. All right. Uh, let's see here. I'm going through the, uh, the notes here. Uh, so service magic is still basically the core magic AI. Now, did you get the magic.ai site? We don't have magic.ai. <laughs> okay. we, we, so gitthread.com is our main domain. Right, right. We do have death to the ticket.com. Uh, okay. We have a lot of fun domains that you'll see us play with over time. Okay. Uh, I don't think we have magic.ai, though. I would imagine that's a pretty expensive domain. It probably is. <laughs> we should go look into it. Yeah, well, let's see if Sean Lardo's got some more money to, you know, spread your way. It can't be that much to get. You never know. You never know. <laughs> uh, so how has your experience here uh, been here at Secure? It's awesome. You know, we don't talk about security a lot with our platform. We're here because the people that we want to work with are here. But on top of that, chat is one of the most secure ways to provide support. Right. The end user, especially when it's in Teams or Slack, is already authenticated. So you see a lot of people here talking about uh, end user authentication, whether that's through SMS or 2FA, there's a lot of ways to do it. If they're in Teams, they're already authenticated. Yeah. So that's something that we're gonna start talking more about. Um, but, you know, IT Nation is an incredible platform and we wanna work with the people that are here. Yeah. And you guys got yourself a booth that's, uh, it's not right at the front door, but it's pretty close. Yeah, we're in Startup Alley hanging out with, with Pitchett and Sean. You know, we've got uh, Defense X. There's, uh, you know, Infima is a Pitchett contestant that has a proper booth. They're not hanging out with us. They're, well, they're going a little bigger. They have Uncle Larry they do have uh, Uncle as Larry. part of their team there. So, and actually, there he is down the hall there walking by. So. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, but you know, the, last year, Nodeware, VCO Toolbox, we're all in that same row. So, yeah. it's cool as Pitch It's become, and it has been, but it's continuing to become more of a community and not just like a this year competition. Yeah. Um, I'm in a Slack channel with the Pitch It contestants from this year, and it's really awesome to get to collaborate. It's kind of like a brotherhood to some degree, you know, kind of like being rookies in the, you know, the NBA or NFL, you know, you come in with certain people, you, you identify with them, you know, you're competing against them for 16 weeks, but you guys become pals. Yeah, yeah, um, absolutely. And it's a lot more than who wins pitch it or the money. It's, you know, the collaborations, helping each other, learning. And, and I give Sean a hard time that pitch it, I don't think should be called pitch it because that only encapsulates the very end of it when you're pitching against each other. Right. Most of the program is more of an accelerator where you're learning how to start a business and help MSPs. Yeah, I, I didn't want to get into that, to that debate with him, but yeah, <laughs> it, they need a better name. Uh, but I think he likes the, uh, the pitch it because he can rhyme it with other stuff. Yeah, and it's, it's got the <laughs> IT pun in it, which yeah. is always, always a good piece, but yeah. it, it's a great program. Yeah. All right. Well, I want to say thank you for stopping by. Of course, thank you for being a sponsor for this year and look uh, to, to do more stuff with you later. And you're, you're, are you guys coaching? We are. This yeah. year? Yeah. So. I, I was on the first call with the pitch it, um, the pitch it group for this year. And then uh, the coaching really comes into place when you have the three finalists. Then, then you get in with your specific group. Right now it's more general, but absolutely uh, pretty involved. All right. I know I'm probably not supposed to ask this, but any favorites? <laughs> <laughs> no. I love. I, well, so I don't have any favorites, but I do think it's really cool that there's a lot of people in Pitch It this year that have already had successful runs with other companies. Um, the, the Like Larry, for example, walking by, right? There's a lot of really impressive people in the program. Yep. All right. Well, look forward to it. I will be uh, starting my interviews of this year's. Uh, you know, I hate saying contestants. It just yeah. sounds kind of weird. But yeah, I don't know. Members. There's got. There's got to be a better word out the there somewhere. All the participants uh, in this year's program, and then of course we'll look to catch up with you guys uh, later on at Connect as we go through the final three and uh, see how it goes. Awesome. All Thanks, right. Marv. Thank you very much. And uh, folks, we'll be back with another interview on the last day here at IT Nation Secure in Orlando, Florida. Holla.